Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jessica and I created Dolled Up by Jay. So in today's video, I'm gonna be discussing some similarities I've seen between some new bags and original bags. And do these designers copy? So let's get into it. If you're here for it, give the video a thumbs up and let's get started. The first I was browsing Farfetch and I noticed this bag, this is from Ferragamo. This is the Swing Leather Tote Bag and it looks strikingly like the Jacquemus Le Ronde bag. It's the bag with the big circle handle. And this bag from Ferragamo has a very large pronounced kind of circular round handle with also kind of a rectangular boxy structure just like Jacquemus and I'm wondering, did they see this bag and kind of emulate it? Now there's so many bags that kind of copy each other, whether it is in shape, in size, you know, a flat bag, a boxy bag, a top handle bag. There are so many kind of generic bag styles out there and there are so many brands that kind of take inspiration from each other. It's like, look at Dior when they created the book tote. Now there are so many toped varieties out there, but it's interesting to think about who did it first. You know what I mean? And this is not to say that these brands have necessarily done anything wrong. I'm just pointing out some of the similarities because I think it's interesting. Next we have from Versace. This is the La Medusa leather mini bag. It reminds me of, I forget the name, it's by Gucci. I'll put the name on the screen with the bag. It has the bamboo top handle. It's a cute little top handled bag with like a flap closure and Versace has basically done their own variety of this. And instead of a bamboo handle, it has a gold metal handle and then the Medusa head. I think this bag is honestly gorgeous and it's actually not a bad price. So I think it is quite interesting that this is so similar to the Gucci bag. And I wonder if Versace did take inspiration from this bag from Gucci because they have really risen in popularity. Okay, next is from Chloe. So this is the Marcy Raffia tote bag. I think this is a bit interesting. This this really reminds me of the Loewe basket bags. Those are so popular. You kind of see them all over social media. They're kind of like a bit of a summer staple. They're not too crazy in terms of designer beach bags, you know, and Chloe has created this bag. So it's 646 Canadian dollars. I find that the Chloe looking saddle on the bag with the leather, it does remind me a bit of Loewe's version, although it is in Chloe's own style. So I think it's interesting. I don't think they directly copied, but at first when I saw this bag, what I thought of was Loewe. Now it's a basic basket bag, right? I'm not going to get too nitpicky here. I think basket bags are such a classic style and there's really like, they're just a dime a dozen, but I think there are certain key elements that kind of differentiate one brand from another. I think this was just a little bit of a similarity. Nothing wrong with it. I just think it's a bit similar to Loewe. Okay, next, Versace again. So they have done the La Medusa tote bag. And they have done this out of canvas for summer. And this bag really honestly reminds me of the Fendi Sunshine Shopper. It's the big kind of square looking bag with Fendi written across on the front. And Versace and Philip Klein actually have done their own versions. So really interesting that this bag has become so popular. Obviously tote bags are very popular for you know your work life, your daily life, and also the beach, summer, all of this, traveling, going to the airport, very practical. And again, book totes are not necessarily going to be on everyone's radar because the prices have gone up so much. A large book tote now, as I said in my luxury price rises video, that is now 3,600 US dollars. So very crazy. So over 4,000 Canadian for a book tote now. So they've really gone up and up. I'm not really surprised that brands are doing versions of this as well because there is still a clientele that wants to have a style of bag but doesn't necessarily want to pay those prices. Okay, next is an interesting one. This is by Valentino. This is the Valentino Garavani Rockstar tote bag. So quite expensive. It is $47.50 US dollars. Really, really expensive. What this bag reminded me of was a cross between the Hermes Birkin and the Fendi Peekaboo. I just think that the square hardware is a cross between the Birkin and the Peekaboo. You guys can agree, disagree, all good. That's just what it reminded me of at first. Now, obviously you've got the V logo on there. It has a different opening than the Peekaboo. The Peekaboo opens from the top. This bag has kind of like a front flap and then it seems to have inner compartments that you can organize your things and things won't get all kind of jumbled up. So that's actually quite a nice feature if you're someone that wants something where you can access from the front and then also from the top. It does have the top handle, which also reminded me of the peekaboo, but what really made me think was just those kind of lock closures that it has on the side. So I thought that was an interesting one. This bag is from Ballman. This is the monogram embossed shoulder bag. Honestly, when I saw this, I thought it was a Fendi baguette, like something new from Fendi, but it's not. It looks like 
the monogram of either Givenchy or Versace, but then the way it is embossed reminds me of Fendi. So interesting. I don't really know about this logo from Balmain. It reminds me of Givenchy. It's a bit interesting. I haven't seen this logo before. Maybe I've been living under a rock or maybe it's new, but I just think the way this bag is done and even the chain is similar to the baguette on chain. Really interesting. What do you guys think? I find it sometimes confusing lately because Givenchy is doing this kind of greco-roman pattern and then balman is doing it and versace has always done it so they're kind of all doing this pattern now and they're all designer brands and they're all doing their own take on it but they're all designer brands and kind of should have their own patterns but they're all kind of kind of copying each other a bit you know what i mean so i'm finding myself a bit confused what do you guys think of these patterns i think that there are some other designer bag similarities i did find a couple of affordable ones as well this is the tory birch kira chevron quilted camera bag so this looks just like the gucci camera bag the marmont camera bag in my opinion it is a more affordable option though of course if you are someone that wants to buy something that is kind of more premium mid-level but not designer i think that it's a good option it's nice the only thing is i did own a tory birch bag once it was the fleming bag it lasted like six months and all the leather on the inside it was a soft leather it would completely come off as i walked and then it looked like a faint gray after it was a black bag it looked terrible it really did not wear well so just maybe you know be cautious with tory birch because i did not have a good experience and i don't think the money was worth it having it only for six months i really wish i had saved and just got the gucci one at the time because that was kind of my style until i kind of just stopped liking the marmot all together but you know it's an option okay hey, and lastly this is an interesting one this is by philip klein and philip klein you know i find a lot of youtubers aren't the biggest of fans i think he's quite big in like asia and russia but i find that a lot of his designs some of them are quite you know lovingly borrowed from other designers putting it lightly. So I think that this bag is interesting. This is the big gothic pline shoulder bag. This reminds me so much of the Delvo classic bag. This reminds me so much of that. It's got the top handle. It has the very, you know, in your face flap. And then it has the logo there where the Delvo buckle would be. I find this so interesting. He has a whole line of these bags. The regular ones are called the medium hexagon bags, but these totally remind me of Delvo. And I think that you know, they are quite cheaper. They're not like that cheap, you know, but they are still reminding me a lot of Delvo. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I think it is interesting, you know, fashion, everyone's gonna borrow from each other at some point or another, you know what I mean? One designer does latex, another one's gonna do latex. Someone's doing square toe, no, everyone's doing square toe. You know, we're seeing clear shoes from Amina Mawadi, Aquazura, Gian Vito Rossi, you know what I mean? Louboutin. So designers do borrow elements from each other. I don't necessarily think there's anything wrong with it at all. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with these bags. I think that everyone borrows from each other. I just think it was kind of interesting to point out some similarities. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if you like any of these bags, if you prefer the originals, if you have any other similar bags you wanted to highlight that I missed. So I would love to hear from you. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you. I love you. And if you are new here, definitely consider subscribing. I would love to see you again. All right, guys. Bye.